Hello and welcome to Library Connection. I'm Mandy Cantrell, Youth Services Director at the B.B. Comer Memorial Library here in Sylacauga. I want to thank TV47 for all they do to help us put on this program and I'm glad you've joined us today. I'm very excited. Ronnie and Amber McLean are joining me today. They have been to Yellowstone National Park several times and we're going to talk about their adventures. So we've been friends a while, been in church together and school yes. back a while ago. Uh -huh. <laughs> Years. Uh, but I'm so glad. Thank y'all for joining me today. We're glad to be here. To be great, here. great. Yeah. Before we get started, most people probably know you, but just briefly kind of tell us about yourselves. Okay. Okay, I'm, my name's Ronnie McLean. Uh, I've lived here in Sylacauga all my life, and uh, I worked at uh, McLean Body Shop for 30 something years, but uh, but now I'm retired, and it's great to be retired. and. <laughs> Yes. Me and Amber, of course, we go to Yellowstone and work every mm -hmm. year now wow. since we've been retired. Mm -hmm. Yay. And I'm Amber. I was Amber Abernathy, McLean, and uh, I went to Sylacauga High School. Yeah. Ronnie and I both are lifelong residents of Sylacauga. We're Sylacauga to the bone, I guess. Right. And, uh, yes, and um, I worked for the Alabama Department of Rehabilitation Services for 27 years and was fortunate to retire young, I think. Mm -hmm. And Ronnie and I, yeah, our big adventure began after that. Wow. Yeah. Well, that is my first question. What gave you the idea to just pack up and go to across the country? Yeah. That's exciting. Well, when we were still working, we went to Yellowstone on vacation. Oh, okay. And just like a lot of people we've observed when we've been there, people come there for a week and they want to see all of Yellowstone and the Grand Tetons. Oh my goodness. And you just really scratched the surface mm -hmm. in a week's time, but that's what we did in 2007. We went and we <clears throat> did the whirlwind tour and we talked to people. You know, I'm a big talker. I, <laughs> hard to shut I know. up. <laughs> but, okay. uh, but we asked a little silver-haired man who was serving at one of the canteen counters, um, how'd you get this job? And he told us the name of the company and we, me and Ronnie said, well, we're going to do that when we retire. Oh, wow. And so we anticipated that. And when we retired, we were like, now we're going to go to work at Yellowstone. And, and you know, it was really pretty easy to do. I mean, wow. just make your application online and they interview you yeah. on the phone and, and hire you and you show up and it's fabulous. Wow. So you, you move there, you live there. Yeah. All right. You have you have to find your own place. Do they provide a place for you, or? Yes, they they uh, provide a place. They have Good. dorms there, and okay. uh, and that's you have bunk beds that you have to sleep in. <laughs> and, and of course, yeah. the uh, restroom is down the hall. And, oh, uh, okay. that's, of course, that's the first time we've had to uh, sleep in bunk beds. Of course, oh. I had to sleep on top. <laughs> And, you know, was, there you go, Amber. It was yeah. A total different experience with that. Wow. But uh, you know, it's it was great because having Yellowstone right in your backyard. Right. Yeah. What more could you want? We counted that part of the adventure. I bet yeah, so. We yeah. only had to sleep in those bunk beds one season, but we did for six months sleep in a bunk bed, and that was an adventure. An adventure. But uh, we've been able to stay in ca a cabin uh -huh. uh, with our own private restroom, oh. which was nice. Uh -huh. And this past year, of course, they put us all, every employee stayed in a room with a bathroom be for COVID oh, precautions. COVID That's right. But it was ni it's nice. That is just, I mean, a bunk, bunk bed doesn't sound great, but it's a small price to pay to be where you are. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and they don't want us to cook in our room, so they, they have an employee dining room, and so we all eat together down in the dining room. Wow. I yeah. could get used to that, yeah. <laughs> not cooking for yeah. several months. Or washing great. dishes. Oh, uh, yes, all that. <laughs> well, that is wonderful. What type of jobs did y'all do? Well, uh... I started out in general maintenance uh -huh. when I came there, in which that is going out and just um, repairing and whatever uh, breaks whatever down. Whatever breaks down. Whatever <laughs> breaks down. And of course, you have to open up, you know, and when you get there to start with, there's a lot of snow and it's cold mm -hmm. and you have to open up all the lodges. We have like seven lodges in the canyon vi village area and uh, then you when it's all, you go through the season, you have to close. So oh, there's okay. there's a lot of work lot there today, to be done. Yeah. But uh, now, the last two years, I've been the kitchen tech. So I've worked okay. 
just in the kitchen and really haven't had to go out that much to the lodges. Right, so okay. It's wow. been a good experience so mm -hmm. far. Different from the auto body shop. Yeah. It's totally different and that's what I wanted was something sure. that was different. Yeah. And of course the boss we have is, his name is Stephen Fuller mm -hmm. and he's been there, this will be his 48th year there. Oh, wow. He's also the winter keeper. Oh, okay. He stays there year round. Oh, my. For 48 years, and he's a great guy to work with. We love him. That's awesome. I mean, you can go in his office at any time, no matter how busy he is, and sit down, and he will, he will drop everything to the side and talk to you. That's wonderful. He's a great boss. Yes, that's, he is. He's one yeah. reason we keep going back to Yellowstone, right because we do intend to go to other parks later on, but right now we want to go as long as Steve's there. Yes, yes. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Well, uh, Amber, what kind of work do you do? Uh, yeah. Well, I started out working in the gift shop. Mm -hmm. Oh, that would be me fun. just fine yeah. because uh. I like to talk. And I talk to people from all across the country and in other oh. other countries. Wow. You know, and some of them didn't know what I was saying. And, you know, I speak <laughs> Southern English anyway, so even Americans sometimes didn't know uh. what I was saying because of my Southern lingo. Uh, but uh, okay. I worked in the gift shop for about a year and, and the started the second year, and Ronnie's boss, Steve offered me a job in the maintenance department. So for the last couple of years, I've been working in the maintenance department in the storeroom. And what I do is give out the um, tools that the guys need to fix things uh, yeah. and the um, inventory, the parts and things that they need to fix things and just maintain that inventory. I've right. never done that before, but I can do it, you know. Yes. And anybody that comes to work at Yellowstone, the the job you do may not necessarily be what you've done all your life or your career, but it doesn't mean you can't do it. So I'm, that's, I'm with you. I think that's a good thing. Do some, I mean, is. I love what it I is. do, but yeah. just to do something different, that's yeah. neat. We love it. Great. We're going to pause for a commercial break, and we'll be right back and talk some more with Ronnie and Amber. <laughs> Home making you sick? Moisture and unsafe air from your crawl space can infiltrate your home, causing health hazards and high utility bills. Ox Foundation Solutions can remedy any mold or mildew problem in your home. It's time to get strong. How strong? Ox strong. Get a free estimate from Ox Foundations. Coosa Valley Medical Center, one of the top 10 hospitals in Alabama, is also Silicaga's largest employer. Services from the emergency room, to surgery, to cancer treatment, to post-stroke care. You won't believe what's right in your backyard. It's Coosa Valley Medical Center in Silicaga. So, if you're sick, in Alabama, choose one of the top 10 hospitals in Alabama. That is Coosa Valley Medical Center. Marble City Pharmacy in Sylacauga is your destination for the highest quality health care. Our knowledgeable pharmacists are always available for questions about your medications or advice on taking over-the-counter products and supplements. Our friendly staff can assist you in choosing from our full lines of compression hose and medical equipment. And don't forget our gift department. We have a great selection of unique gifts for every occasion. Stop by and see us today. Marble City Pharmacy, here for life. Hi, welcome back to Library Connection. I'm talking with Ronnie and Amber McLean from here in Sylacauga, and they have done, I guess you would call it seasonal work at yes. Yellowstone Park. Mm -hmm. Yes. Where exactly is that? I mean, Wyoming, I mm -hmm. know. Yes. So that's where y'all work. And yes. Yeah. Uh, the park is big. It's 4,000 square miles, and it's divided mm -hmm. into four sections, really. Okay. The lake, Mammoth, Hot Springs, Old Faithful, and Canyon Village. And we work in Canyon Village where okay. the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone is with oh, a great wow. big beautiful waterfall oh, and it's like 7,900 feet above sea level so Ronnie and I it takes us some time every time we go to uh, sort of catch our breath because I the bet. breathing's different up there. I bet. I googled wow. Alabama and we're only 500 something oh. feet above sea level. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that. I never thought about that. <laughs> that would be a change yes. but you're, you're there a while. So yes. You, that's yes. great. Now, what, what company do you work for? I know we wanted to talk about that. Or the lodge? Or yes. Yeah. The company is Xanterra, X-A-N-T-E-R-R-A. -R -R -A. Okay. And if any of you are interested in working at Yellowstone or any, there's several other national parks, you should Google Xanterra. 
because it's a fantastic opportunity. Wow, great, mm -hmm. great. Well, you sent me so many slides, I had to weave through them. I wish we could show them all, but let's go ahead and look at some of those, of some of the sites you've seen. They're all beautiful. This is just a picture of the welcome uh, sign right outside the parking gardener, mm -hmm. uh, which is really in Montana. This is a um, archway that was put up by, Doc, by uh, President Roosevelt in 1903, oh. and to to note the park, it says for the benefit and enjoyment of the people up there on that little oh. placard. Mm -hmm. This is the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone, oh, with yeah. the uh, with the fall all swollen with the snow melt it makes a big waterfall when the Gosh. snow's just melted mm -hmm. that's something we don't <laughs> worry about when the snow melts and uh -huh. when it doesn't melt but they do. yes oh, this wow. is another view of the canyon <clears throat> it's very colorful very mm. beautiful it's it's a beautiful place to be yes, it is. this is a place near given falls and it shows a lot to do with the trees it's in a very natural state there, and when trees are, when there's fires and they burn or they mm. die, they just let them lay there. They don't move them out. But mm. when there's fires, it release, the cones release these seeds that makes all new growth, and that's why you got those green areas. Yeah. Wow. This is my favorite place at Yellowstone. It's the Grand Prismatic Hot Spring. It is as wide, if you can believe, it's as wide as a football field. And it's as deep as a 10-story building. Oh, my goodness. And now it's real hot. Nobody gets really? in it. I bet. You know, I can't remember the temperature, but it's not something you go for a dip in. Oh. This is one called Morning Glory Pool. That, make, that picture makes it look kind of small, but it's really... It's pretty big, big too. It it's probably 25 feet across, wouldn't you say, Ronnie? It's big, yes it is. And this is a sapphire pool. This is a hot <clears throat> spring. They don't erupt. They, they're just hot springs. They're beautiful. There's a few mm -hmm. of the blue ones like that, but this one's called sapphire pool. Yeah, and it's out there by the uh, Grand Prismatic. Yes. Oh, okay. We just looked at it also. It's I, right I beside want, it, really. Okay. I wanted to pause for a second. What time of year do y'all go? I don't think I've even asked that. The earliest we've gone is April 15th. Okay. But last year, like I said, we didn't go till June 1st. And uh, we come home at the very end of October. Oh, okay. Just ahead of the snow. Or uh, maybe. Well, it maybe already starts. <laughs> oh, well, that's true. Maybe. It, yeah, it's already started. <clears throat> but as Ronnie said, they have to open everything up. Uh, I mean, uh, add the water, add the electricity yeah. to all the lodges because during the winter, there's a lot of snow there and they, they have to shut down everything, drain all the water out of every water pipe. Oh, wow. Uh, that's what they have to close it down. Yes, and yeah. before we left last year, it was 20 below. Oh. So it was real cold. In October. In October. Yes. Oh, gosh. And during the hard part of the winter, it gets to 50 below. Yeah. So it's not a place. Wow that I would want to be in in the wintertime. No. Sure. It's beautiful there, and I think, oh, I could live here except for the snow. Mm -hmm. I could not do that. <laughs> oh, that would be. Yeah. I mean, yeah. When That's we get mean. one inch or a half inch here, we all stay home and close yes. everything down. <laughs> right, right. So we don't know how to drive in it. We don't have snow plows and don't need them. So, yeah, yeah, that's right. That's amazing. Okay, I'm sorry. We'll get back. This okay. is Mammoth Hot Springs. These are what they call travertine terraces that are just from deposits of Something Silicaga knows about calcium carbonate. Yes, calcium carbonate. Um, yeah, <laughs> or uh -huh. really they call it travertine, but it's from deposits of. Ah, that's yeah, it. beautiful. Of course, this is the centerpiece of the park, Old Faithful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to think it shoots up something like 185 feet. Yes, it can. Yes. And it go goes every. 90 minutes, I think. It is pretty, old faithful. Pretty close. It's pretty faithful. faithful. <laughs> uh, okay, nice. this is a um, <clears throat> fumarole. It's a steam vent, and this happens to be at um, Norris Geyser Basin, <coughs> and it just <clears throat> really blows steam out, mm -hmm. and it makes a hissing oh, noise when it okay. blows. That's not water. I mean, no, well, that's it is, steam. It's steam. Steam, mostly, that's yes. That's steam. Wow. You know, we're sitting on top of a super volcano there. Oh, I yeah. didn't know that. Yeah. Wow, I guess I haven't that, studied that. There was a big uh, volcanic eruption there, and that's what these are, vents, and there's heat underneath the ground there. Yeah. Oh, wow. Ooh. Magma and stuff. Yeah. But this is just a beautiful site right between um, Mammoth and uh, Norris. It's, it's just every picture you take, it looks like something you got out of a magazine, but I really saw that. This is Lake Yellowstone. 
Uh, I think this is when it still had some ice on it. Doesn't it that looks, look like it's still yes, got it's, ice? It, yes, it when does. we get there, it's still icy. Oh, wow. This is oh. during the season um, when we got some snow, and uh, Ronnie had to walk to work because I it was it was about two blocks. Right. Yeah. I mean, but it was through the woods, you see. Oh. And I'm scared of bears. You know, you never know where they're going to turn up. They're yeah. not in cages there. Oh, and so right. Ronnie would leave his truck at the cabin, and I would drive to work. But Ronnie walked to oh. work. That that was when we worked <laughs> at the when we uh, stayed or. In, yeah. the in the cabins, yeah. and then it was out from the uh, dorms and all, and we had right. to walk, and, and you had to watch going outside your door there at the cabin, because there could be a bison just right outside there yeah. eating wow. some grass or something, and you have to really watch that. But it was, yes. Did you ever run into any bears or anything on your walk to work? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Thank the Lord, no. They, de they <laughs> definitely say we should be bear aware, and so always you have to look, because you never know, they could be there. That's true. That's, that's they their home. They have been there. That's they have home. been there, but just not right where we were at that particular time. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's <laughs> great. Oh, and this is the Yellowstone River, and it is so beautiful. It's like a mirror, and it changes while we're there from the you know early spring through mm -hmm. the fall, it, and that's that's in the summer right there when the mm -hmm. water's starting to go down. This is a beautiful place, almost like a marshy place. It's out oh. at a place called Virginia Cascades, mm -hmm. and I love it. It's so lush. Oh, that is beautiful. It? Pretty, pretty and green. Yes. This is one of my favorite drives that goes over Dunraven Pass, which is where Mount Washburn is. And in the winter, you know, of course, that's all covered up with snow, but sure. flowers grow everywhere. And in that particular region of the uh, park, there's a large population of black bear, and they like to eat flowers. Oh, I didn't, I didn't know they that. They don't like people. They don't like I to eat people. Not. They I'm like sure. flowers and grass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good, good. Oh, and this is a picture on that same drive where when you make a big curve, you look out across there and, mm -hmm. oh, my goodness, it's just wide open. Isn't oh, it, Ronnie? That's it is. That's it the just thing opens about. up. This has got one of those picket fences. If you look along the top, that mm -hmm. is from volcanic activity. That's uh, bas basalt. Uh, and it creates something like a, they call a picket fence. I it thought does. Of, and okay. I thought about my old uh, high school biology teacher, Miss Fraser. I loved yeah. her yes. in biology, but that one was, uh, oh, it had some blue in the rock, and I know it had to do with uh, biology. I don't oh, know. Yeah. I she could tell her. us. Yeah. <laughs> she could oh, tell us. Look, oh, we've gone through this. Okay. This is a hike we went on. A friend told us, oh, this will be an easy hike. It ended up being seven hours, I mean, seven miles 7.3 oh. miles. Yeah. Wow. And, uh, it was it was a beautiful day, but my face turned red that day. Hoo hoo. Mm, I bet. I bet. That's yeah, beautiful. and we also had six or eight people, which yeah, that's you can them. see there, okay. that, that went with us because yes. you're not supposed to go out with just one or two. You're supposed to have three or more because yes. of the bears. Yes. I bet that's true. Yes. Uh -huh. And you have to carry bear spray. And two of those girls with us were some of the people who came from overseas. There's a lot of students who come from overseas and oh. one of them was from Thailand and one of them was from the Philippines. We mm -hmm. met a lot of people. A lot and of this, students. This is the going through this hike. I mean we went through rocks and woods and you know, it, it was quite a hike. Oh. This is a place we went it's called Stormy Point uh -huh. hike. It was oh it's just beautiful there and the, they say this country is big sky country. Uh -huh. Yes. You see a That's lot true. of sky there. Yes. That's true. Yes. This is a view of, I think this is going into Lamar Valley, don't you, Ronnie? Yes. Yeah. That is. That's a big, wide open area where there's a lot of bison. Well, mm -hmm. This is the very hardest hike we ever did. We hiked oh. up Mount Washburn, oh. and they fooled me, apparently. I thought it was 1.6 miles, and Ronnie and Shelly convinced me that, okay, okay. Well, it was three miles up. Oh. And it was like 1,400 feet climb we had. 1,400, oh, but that was at the top. 10,000, you know, yes. oh, elevation. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my face you was made. red that day, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, beautiful flowers. Some more flowers. of the beautiful flowers. Yes, that, that place really comes alive in the spring. Really does. I can see why there's a lot of black bears there. <laughs> they like them. Uh -huh. There's some snow and yeah. ice. Well, actually, that's a, oh. a water rushing over some rocks. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. And there's a pretty rainbow back there if you look yeah. on the far left. Oh, yes. uh -huh. We see a lot of rainbows out there. This right here made me think about my beach. I like yeah. beach. But now I found out I really love mountains. 
That looks like the beach to me, but it it's is. along the shore of Lake Yellowstone, mm -hmm. oh, which is the largest freshwater lake at a high elevation, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is just a beautiful oh, sunset. Beautiful. Saw a lot of those. I oh, know. yes. And the sky, the night sky, oh my goodness. These are harlequin ducks. They only come in the spring to mate, and they mate in the uh, rapids at the Lahardy Rapids. That's mm -hmm. the only place they go, oh, and yeah. they're really fancy little ducks. That's a trumpeter swan. There's all kind of, of birds in there. A lot of ducks. Yes. yes. A lot of ducks. Yes. Lot, and there's yes. an eagle. Oh. Uh -huh. We saw Beautiful. a lot of ball. We saw them oh, hunting by the water. This is a bighorn sheep. Mm -hmm. They're more mysterious. I, we got lucky one day and we saw a bunch of them, but it's not something you often see, is it, Ron? No, it's wow. not. No. These are bison. I think they're about to butt heads. Oh. I'd want to get out of the way. Uh -huh. <laughs> we story. see them a lot. That's a pronghorn, and that's the um, hmm, American, what do they call it? Mm. I can't remember. That's okay. Anyway, it runs very fast. And this is a moose. I looked and looked and looked for moose. This is a girl moose on the left, a cow moose, and a, a bull moose is oh. the boy moose. And yeah. he's got a big old rack of... Antlers yes. or whatever you call them. Yeah, it's either antlers, antlers or horns. Oh, yeah. And this is a coyote. Oh, okay. They have wolves up there, and mm -hmm. they're more definitely more elusive. Mm -hmm. Oh, this right here is what we see a lot. I bet. Yeah. yeah. On bet. every walking trail, and it's scary because I mean you go out there and pff, there it is. But that's where they live. It's their know? home. Yeah. Yes. We're just infringing on it. Mm -hmm. And there's yes. one we saw. Oh, goodness. That's one we saw right out by the lake, and actually yeah. there was two of them. There was two. It was oh. a mother and a, a yearling cub. Oh. Uh-huh. And that was two years ago. Oh, look, there's a, mm -hmm. there's yeah, a mama a black bear, bear with black two bear. babies. Yeah. That was funny when we saw him running off the bear. little baby bear was trying to climb up a little <laughs> bitty tree, and it just fell over. Oh, he's bigger than but he thought. This is oh. an a elk and a baby. Oh, that is an elk, isn't it, Ronnie? Yes, it is. Yes. This is a wolf. Now, we didn't see him like that. Uh, wolves are generally further off the road, yes, they and are. you have to use mm -hmm. your um, binoculars, binoculars to yeah. see right, them. Right. But there's several packs in the park, and there's one close to us. Well, I'll have to pause here because that's one of the things I I, I don't know a lot about where you. <laughs> but the book, uh, the wolves are back. I, this is a fascinating story. I've used this book with programs about the wolves were in the 1920s. Somebody killed, uh, they killed all the wolves, mm -hmm. and then. They brought them back years later and talked about because the wolves are back, it changed the course of the rivers and different animals come back. It's a yes. whole, you'll have to check the book out. <laughs> For sure. Right. Yeah. But we have a lot of books about uh, Yellowstone National Park. Old Faithful was in yes. one upstairs. So that I, so I did a little bit of reading before uh, y'all came. Okay. Good. <laughs> We're going to pause for another commercial break and we'll be right back. Home making you sick? Moisture and unsafe air from your crawl space can infiltrate your home, causing health hazards and high utility bills. Ox Foundation Solutions can remedy any mold or mildew problem in your home. It's time to get strong. How strong? Ox strong. Get a free estimate from Ox Foundations. Coosa Valley Medical Center, one of the top 10 hospitals in Alabama, is also Sylacauga's largest employer. Services from the emergency room, to surgery, to cancer treatment, to post-stroke care. You won't believe what's right in your backyard. It's Coosa Valley Medical Center in Sylacauga. So, if you're sick, in Alabama, choose one of the top 10 hospitals in Alabama. That is Coosa Valley Medical Center. Marble City Pharmacy in Sylacauga is your destination for the highest quality health care. Our knowledgeable pharmacists are always available for questions about your medications or advice on taking over-the-counter products and supplements. Our friendly staff can assist you in choosing from our full lines of compression hose and medical equipment. And don't forget our gift department. We have a great selection of unique gifts for every occasion. Stop by and see us today. Marble City Pharmacy, here for life. Welcome back to Library of Connection. I'm talking with Ronnie and Amber McLean about their work at Ye Yellowstone Park. We've got just a few more slides in a little bit of time. Let's look and see what's left. I know. 
This yeah. is some more snow. This is me looking out the window from the warm cabin at Ronnie mm. walking to work because oh. I was keeping the truck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. That, and that's when y'all are there in the spring and the that, summer. That was at the end of the season, like the in season. September. Yeah. 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 Uh, and this is just a leaving Yellowstone Park sign that I thought was oh. appropriate for the end yeah. of a photo album. Yes, yes it, is. it is. That's great. Uh -huh. Wow. Well, do y'all plan to go back? Of course, yes, we haven't got our date for this year, but we will be going back. I don't know if it'll be a late season like last year or if we'll go early. Last year, know. the park was, uh, a lot of the lodging was closed, so people couldn't actually stay right. in the park, but there still as many guests came into the park, like four million. Oh my I mean, goodness. In and out of the park. Wow. And so it's still very busy. Even the gift shops and the restaurants still are open, but the lodging mm -hmm. was very limited. Right. Well, COVID yes. has changed a lot of things, but I'm glad yes, people are still able to get in. They won't let us know when we return for mm -hmm. the next year until sometime in January until they okay. know how things yeah. are going to be going for yes. that year. That's how we all are. <laughs> 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 so. Just wait That's and see. Right. Well, that is great. Yeah. I know that has been such an exciting experience. It has. You said you've met people from all over the world? Oh, yes, yes, and uh, that, like I said, those two girls that were hiking with us yes. and a young man that worked in the EDR employee dining room uh -huh. uh, was from Malaysia. Malaysia. He was yeah. from Malaysia, and actually, before he came to Yellowstone, he had finished college as being a lawyer, uh -huh. and he came there and worked that summer Wow. And then he went back and uh, got his got his graduated and got his degree. Yes. Wow. So, <laughs> just wanted to do something. We came yeah. to a whole different country. Yeah. He did. Yes. He did. Oh wow. Yeah. So you do see a lot of students. Yes, they have a lot. But last year they didn't have any come in from overseas. Uh -huh. But but every year before they have. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. We've got about a minute left. I'm <laughs> is there anything else you can tell us? Something exciting that happened or. Adventures with animals or people yeah. or anything. Well, always it's, it's exciting when I see a grizzly bear, but I always prefer to be in the car when I see it, or at least have a body of water between it and me. Oh, you know, I thought about that. Yeah, there's yeah. a waterway that runs through the park up in all the different areas. So if yeah. they're on the other side, I feel reasonably safe. Okay. But uh, it was exciting to always see people we knew there. Oh, you've had and friends come. Yeah. We have, yeah. of course. Kathy and Don Bozeman came yeah. and visited, and uh, Ronnie saw. I was working, but Ronnie saw Tony uh, Pig and Bob and Carol oh, and Tony Picklesheimer and Cindy, they all travel yeah, there together. Okay. How fun. This summer we were at the Tetons on a weekend and uh -huh. we heard somebody say, Silicaga. And we looked over there and it was Randy Hebson. I don't know if y'all remember yes. Nita Hebson yes. and Claire, their son Randy. Wow. And so we run into them. Well, I'll talk with Al and we're going to plan us a trip there. <laughs> Good. That would be so fun. We can be your tour guide. That'd be great. Well, thank y'all so much. We could talk a long time, but I, we're, we're out of time. But we uh -oh. got a lot more we can say. But thank you so much for coming and sharing with us. And I hope you will uh, maybe get out to see them sometime or come into the library and check out some books and read about it. Yes. But thank you so yes. much for joining me on Library Connection.